Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Maybe you're at sick week, either racing or you're spectating, hopefully having a good time if you're there. You're at some other event having fun. Whatever you're doing, please be safe. But let's get into what we're going to talk to or talk about uh, today. It's going to be an advanced concept. It's one that's not tested in the Haltech software, but I'm going to show you an idea I had based on things that we see in factory ECUs, mostly Bosch-based uh, examples, some other stuff, some Denso, some Japanese stuff. That is setting up an actual torque-based control system. Now, while they meant this to be used for transmission control stuff, um, I think primarily for the Ford Falcon, I'm going to show you some easy ways that we can repurpose it and use more or less. We'll pick Ford as an example. I happen to have an EcoBoost Explorer. So if you've ever looked at that, you're going to know that there's a table called driver demand. Um, Subarus have a table similar to this where you set up your torque request and you can do that versus throttle. Um, but basically your throttle position and then your APP because it's drive-by-wire. This particular car is eventually going to be drive-by-wire. To start with, it's just going to be cable. So this axis up here is just throttle position. We've got RPM. And you see that I have 0 to 100% throttle. Okay, great. And then I have a torque request. Now, it's doing it in Newton meters, but realistically, because we're going to appropriate this, you can make this pound feet if you want. You can come up with any value you want because it's a reference to you that you can use for how much traction you got. Now, if you've watched the older videos on torque management and tractive force in motorsports, you'll immediately understand what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'm going to have the links below so that you can catch up on that if you want. But basically... It's going to sound really, really complicated. I'm going to show you how to make some sweeping generalizations. But if you were to tune a car this way, you're going to just make up a, a basic torque table. And, I mean, I suppose if you wanted to, you could make this horsepower, but torque is what spins the world, so we're going to say torque. Keep in mind that here, 512 foot-pounds at three and 4,000 RPM or newton meters, that's pretty healthy. But because it's torque times RPM divided by 52, 52, even if it was 412 pound-feet here and 470 up here, this might be 800 horse or something, 750 horse. So we're going to just use torque. But what you do, at least how I envision it, how I do it in other cars, you might take your last three columns and we're going to set it to 450 newton meters, 450 pound pound feet, whatever you want to do. We're going to skip over boost control target pressure for a second, and we're going to go to boost control closed loop output. The axis is going to be, in this case, RPM versus torque request. What that I'm going to call it torque request, but it's the torque table in newton meters. Again, we can appropriate it and make it whatever we want. It doesn't really matter. Now, you don't have to have the table this big. In practicality, probably will never have to be. But if you had a turbo or turbos and you knew that it could make 800 newton meters, which is 590 pound feet, or let's say it's 800 pound feet, you're probably going to be almost 100% pulled wastegate line here, let's say. So you would just take and do something. Oh, let's do this. You might do something like this. This is just going to get you a base table. It's closed loop, so it's going to get us a rough idea. That each time we request a different torque number, that it's going to add that much wastegate duty cycle, because that's what the output is. Now, our target pressure is our torque request versus RPM. And then this is PSI, or maybe you're going to use... Uh, KPA, or you're going to use something. This is going to be a rough idea that you know that to make 550 newton meters, this particular application might start off at 16 
12.7 PSI and uh, end up at 17.4. You have a little bit of a boost creep to hold that flat. So basically in tuning, all you would do is you set your value 450. If I click on the right one, 450, we're going to say that's wastegate line. Okay, great. When you look at your duty cycle table, 450 is zero, 475 is 10, blah, 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 blah. And all you would have to do is you leave this till you get your boost figured out to hold that torque flat versus the RPM range you're going to run. And while you're doing that, if you're data logging it and it's closed loop, it's just going to keep adding until you get what you need. You just look at a data log and, you know, here I have 10, it's all 17. It's never going to be linear like that. So for sake of example, now you can see that I, to get that curve versus the RPM, our theoretical example might be 40 down here and it's going to be 52 up here or it's going to be 60 to do 725, and it's going to be almost 80 up here to hold that flat. And then the target pressure, if you go back and look, it might be 25 down low, it might be 28 out the top, it might be 30 down low and 35 out the top. We don't really know. We just throw in some numbers till we get that torque nice and flat, the Honda Power Band, as I like to call it. It might be that it's 19 here, and it might be 24 here. We just don't know. But until you start setting it up, build yourself a starting point and go from there. Anyway, guys, that covers this one. Kind of a, an advanced concept uh, to some, but for those of us that are trying to do tractive force management and torque management on no prep or at a prep track, one more tool that we can use. One more thing in our toolbox, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If it's content you like and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Please hit the like button. Let me know if you don't like it. Let me know why you didn't like it. If you have a friend that you think might be interested in, in this type of thought experiment, and this is going to be something that I am going to test. It's not just a pipe dream. This is actually going to go into my car. Um, consider sharing it with them. And if you need notified as new content is added, just hit the bell icon. YouTube will take care of the rest. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing good, and we'll talk to you later.